Well, hello again. Welcome back. Today we have found ourselves in another fine mess. Uh, a customer of mine brought this guitar in. It's his favorite guitar. He plays in the punk band. And it's been through quite a bit over the years. His frets are completely trashed. His guitar was actually unplayable. The real story here is, is when he brought it in, it had a huge bow in the neck. Somewhere along the line, someone had loosened the truss rod up completely in it. And I don't know what happened, but this got a huge bow in the neck. Uh, and I've had it in here for about a month, trying to let it settle in a little bit. I've got the truss rod at the end of his travel as far as being tight. And the best I can get after settling is about a 30 seconds of an inch bow in the neck at the seventh fret. It kind of means a lot to him. It's like I say, it's his favorite guitar. He's had it for quite some time. They've tried to find a replacement neck for it. No go because it is one of the Japanese made models. And everything is different sized. The neck is different sized fit for the body and all that. So, my challenge has been put upon me to try to save this neck. So, like I say, I've tried to let it settle in some, see what it was going to do truss rod wise. It's just not responding. So, time for extreme measures. We'll see what happens. Well, here we are. Sometimes guerrilla repair tactics need to be incorporated so what we are doing here is attempting to heat straighten this neck the neck was heated and it's been clamped with a back bow situation the plan here is when it cools and we take it out of the clamps that the neck will be straight or slightly back bowed. We're hoping for straight. So we'll see how this goes. I've got it clamped over a little bit. It's going to spring back some. Uh, if I can actually get it very close to being straight with a little bit of relief in it, I'd be thrilled. Because at this point the truss rod's completely loose. Uh, like I say, we've got a sixteenth of an inch bow in the neck without any string tension on it and no truss rod tension. So if I can get this thing within, you know, twelve thousandths of being straight, like I say I'd be really happy. I prefer not to have a back bow in it. But uh, we're going to be losing a little bit of strength here in the neck anyway. If it has a little bit of back bow without any tension on it, uh, that may be okay. We'll see how this comes out. It's not an exact science. Okay, let's get you caught up here. Uh, actually, the heat straightening worked. I actually had to do it twice to get it where I wanted it. I've had the guitar strung up here now for a couple weeks under tension with very slight truss rod tension on it. And at this point, I actually have five thousandths relief in the neck and it's holding steady, so... I've decided it's stable enough to continue on here with the refret. I think we're going to be good here. Uh, so I need to tear this down, get the frets out of it, and get along. Uh, we're going to actually be using stainless steel frets in this this time around because you know, he's pretty hard on uh, play wear here. Since we have to do this job and get in as deep as we are, uh, we're going to use the stainless steel. So I'd only have to do it once. And hopefully that'll last him out. So I'm going to start getting this torn down and get on with it. Okay, that came out in one piece. I might be able to save that. Saving him some time and money.
one. These are coming out pretty easy. I don't think the uh, fret really fit tight enough. Notched so badly that uh, <laughs> it's like speed bumps here. Good news is they are coming out very clean. The more these frets I take out, the more it seems like they fit really, really loose. I think we're going to do some neck stiffening here anyway, which I kind of planned on doing. But it looks like uh, it's probably more useful now than I thought before. So. so you get the picture here. We don't need to go through all this over and over and over. It'll take a few minutes to get these out. We'll be back. Yeah, well there we go. Frets are all out. That took us a whole 15 minutes and 39 seconds. Okay. Let's keep moving. We're going to get this neck off of here, get it on the surrogate body, do some quick cleanup sanding. Just a little scuff sanding here, get the burrs off the top where the frets come out. Do some preliminary checking check some fret slot sizes, check some fret tang sizes. We're going to be moving along here.
you can see where it's already started shaping here a little bit. <laughs> We've got some play wear that probably won't come out. But uh, we've got this neck straight. We've got the frets out. We're ready to string this back up, stick it on the neck jig. Do some preliminary plotting and planning. And then we're going to really get into this. Okay, just as I suspected, we have a 22 thousandths wide fret tang. We have a 25 thousandths wide fret slot. Hmm. We need 25 thousandths wide fret tang. Well, let's see what we can do about that. We're all on our neck jig. We've got her all jigged up. It's been zeroed out. It's ready to start making sanding dust fly. So let's get this fingerboard leveled up, trued up. Then we'll get on with the fret fitting. All right, well, fingerboard's all leveled up. It's been trued up and all that. Fret slots have been cleaned out, chamfered. We did manage to accidentally get rid of his fingerboard wear. I didn't expect it to come out, but it did. So that's a happy accident there. The cool thing here is this is moving along rather well. The fingerboard really wasn't that uneven. There wasn't that many humps and stuff in it. Uh, it's actually working out really well time-wise. This is the time we've got in it so far, as far as the fretwork goes. So, let's move on. Let's start cutting fitting frets. That's going to take us a bit. I just happen to have a vintage size fret wire here with a 25 thousandths tang on it. So what I'm going to do is shave these barbs off. It's going to give us a smooth tang that's 25 thousandths wide to fit the fret slots. Then we're going to glue the frets in. We're going to press them in and glue them. But they're going to fit very snugly. One of the tricks with stainless steel wire I want to point out to you people, if nobody realizes this, stainless steel wire needs to be bent to actually fit the fingerboard perfectly. You don't want to tap these in traditionally. What will happen is uh, when you bend this stuff, it may spring back later. I actually do a lot of stainless steel fret job repairs where the frets have popped up in the middle and caused lots of problems. So they're very springy. Uh, they, like I say, they spring back a lot. So you got to be aware of that and do what you can to combat it. Moving on. Squirrel. Okay. <laughs> Something real quick. Uh, that was just a caller from out of state that uh, wanted me to refret a 66 Jazzmaster for him. Hmm. What's the chances? Anyway. Okay. We have all of our frets radiused and cut to length. They're slightly oversized. That way it holds the ends down a little bit better when I'm clamping these. So you see here what we've got. We've got a seven and a quarter inch radius on the fret. The barbs, like I say, have been shaved off. You can see where they were, but they're not there. Frets are exactly 25 thousandths wide. You can also see here that it fits the fingerboard perfectly. So when we press these in, there's not going to be a problem thing to spring it around. Okay? Now, something else I want to mention. Uh, I said that the fret size originally was about three thousandths narrower than the fret slot. That may not sound like a lot to you, but when you think about this, we have 21 fret slots. If there is a three thousandths of an inch slop in each one, and yes, I'm going to refer to it as slop, 
three thousandths doesn't sound like a lot, but when you multiply that by 21 frets, we have 63 thousandths of looseness going on here. So that lets the fingerboard compress a little bit. I also think that we had an issue with this guitar. I think it was actually in a hot car, and I think the fingerboard glue joint slipped. It's just a theory, but I couldn't get it straightened out any other way, and when I heat straightened the neck, that seemed to correct the whole problem. So I think the truss rod was loose, the neck had relief in it anyway. I think it was left in a hot car. The glue joint slipped and when it cooled, the neck was stuck in that position with major relief. I've seen it happen before. I can't say that happened for sure, but it's sure looking like it. So, I'm going to get this off the neck jig flip the table over just for a working surface and I'm going to start putting frets in. So away we go. We're all ready. We've got our fingerboard waxed up and ready to go. We've got our assorted toolery, our fret clamp, junior our little fret hammer, our assorted blades of exact zero, our five minute epoxy, our clamping blocks, Clamping calls, frets, clamps. It's rock and roll. The first eight frets are in. Now we wait. We've got to wait 30 minutes for epoxy. Then we'll carry on. Hmm. Maybe I'll find something else to do in the meantime. I think while I'm waiting for the frets to cure. I'm going to clean up a few things here. Looks like his pickup is stuck down the body. So we're going to take that out and probably put some new padding under it, some new foam. Probably do the front one too. Clean them up. <clears throat> clean these controls and so on up. So that when I'm ready to start putting this back together, all I have to do is finish cleaning it up. And everything will work at that point, so I won't have to tear it all back down. And it looks like I've got about an hour anyway. So what we got there? We have this all cleaned up. His electronics have been cleaned. We have new foam under the pickups, so they're a little bit more sturdy. And I've cleaned everything up to where I can continue on here. Over here, we have all of our frets in and cleaned up. Uh, we've rough trimmed the edges. We have a lot more to do there. It's going to take a while filing on this stainless steel. So away we go. Okay, well we're back on the neck jig. It's been about another hour and a half here. We have all of our fret ends trimmed and cleaned up. And polished. We even touched up this area here in front of the nut that was sanded down when I leveled the fingerboard up. Don't tell anybody I did it with super glue. So we've got all of our tools and sandpaper here ready to go. This is going to take a couple hours. Hydration stations ready. So we're going to jump into this and get it going because this is going to be brutal. Stainless steel takes about half again as long to dress as regular nickel silver frets. So this is going to take me a few. Luckily uh, the fret job went really well. There was very little leveling to do. So that went smoothly. So here we go. Time for the real work. Well. The frets are finished. That took a couple hours. Very intense filing, sanding, and polishing. Water bottle's empty. Time for refill there. In the meantime, while I was tuning and untuning, I found a lot of loose tuners here. Probably going to have to... There's a real bad one. Probably going to have to uh, plug a few holes there for the screws. A few there stripped. So anyway, let's get this off this neck jig 
back on the body and get this thing together. Well, we are finished. We've got everything back together here. All done. So he was able to save his original nut. We've got his tuning machines all straightened back up. Stainless steel refret. Neck salvage. This actually came out pretty good considering that uh, I had my doubts. But we were able to save the neck. All taken care of. All back together. All bridge screws are all freed back up. Everything works. And uh, for those of you who are wondering and are concerned, no duct tape or stickers were harmed in the repair of this instrument. So we're able to get this back to him. I guess that's his favorite guitar. We'll see how he feels about this. Uh, also, on another note, one of my personal vests, seven hours on this guitar. All told for fingerboard cleanup, neck straightening, stainless steel refret, and all. I'm amazed that uh, it's pretty fast. So, till next time, play nice.